Greetings dear viewers, welcome. Today's poem is Tain in Zukatot and 1886. Today we are going to be going back in time and we are going to understand what exactly happened in the first World Chess Championship match that was contested between William Steinitz and Johannes Zuckertot in 1886. Let me give you a quick introduction about players. William Steinitz was considered as one of the strongest players in the later half of the 1800s and he had played a uh, lot of matches against very worthy opponents and he had won matches prior to the world championship match as well he had competed against anderson he had competed against blackburn and he had also played a match against zuckertot as well and he was victorious on all these occasions to talk about zuckertot zuckertot was um considered as a very strong player by around 1870s and in 1883 he won the london tournament ahead of william stainitz and this led a lot of them to talk about the fact that Zuckertot was a strong player, Stainitz's uh, prowess was actually not so great with uh, with the element of time involved. So a lot of them were relishing the probability of these two meeting in a world championship match and it happened in 1886. It could have happened much before but the major reason it did not happen was because of the venue. Stainitz wanted the match to happen anywhere else other than London but Zuckertot was very firm on the fact that he wanted the match to happen in London because he had some financial aid if he had played uh, if he had played the match in London but nevertheless it did happen in 1886 and uh, it did not happen in London it happened in the United States of course there were three venues planned uh, namely New York uh, St. Louis and New Orleans as well uh, to talk about the player styles uh, William Steinitz was considered as a master of positional play while Zuckertot was considered as a great tactician who was able to spot tactics on the board the other thing that is very interesting about uh, this world championship match was the rule the first to win 10 games would be declared as the winner and the interesting thing was that if the score was 9 and 9 the world championship match would be considered as a draw and the title would be shared Later on, in many World Championship match, one of the major criticism was that if the score was tied, the World Champion would retain the crown. And a lot of them did not like this rule. And now, of course, uh, it has changed. And now there is there are tiebreakers to decide the winner. But considering that this is the first World Championship and the rule being uh, so clear, so fair, was something uh, very commendable. And lastly, uh, to talk about Stainitz's grit. Steinitz's uh, champion ability. Steinitz, after the first game, lost four successive games. Zuckertot emerged victorious consecutively, four consecutive games. And a lot of them thought that, okay, Steinitz is going to lose the match, but no, he won the match in style, even though he lost four consecutive games. The score was 10 to 5 with uh, five draws and that shows uh, what champions are made of so let us get into the poem and understand what exactly happened in the 1886 world chess championship match between stainitz and Zukotot. stainitz emigrated to america and declared that he was finally prepared he wanted to face Zukotot in a match in a venue other than london to show how things are done the match would be first to 10 wins with another rules of fair at 9-9, the match would be called a draw. This cannot be considered a flaw since 9-9 denotes a tough fight and both had the right. A minor contrast in playing styles was prevalent. Both the competitors were different. Stein is known for his positional precision. Zuckertot praised for his tactical vision. Steinitz had a bad start. He had to take heart. Zuckertot inflicted maximum damage for four successive losses. Steinitz had to man. Steinitz was not fighting only for the crown. He had other things of his own. His chess principles were at stake. Losing would be an unbearable ache. Steinitz shows his true character and spirit, showcasing his unbreakable grit. He won the match with Vela. Zuckertot's fight in the second half was smaller. The positional play of Steinitz was victorious, proving that aggressive play isn't always glorious the full poem along with the explanation is available in the description thanks for your attention